Unfortunately, we had to leave Martin in Gabon. He broke the rear fork on his motorcycle and will have to wait for a new one from Germany. The rainy season has started too early. We have to hurry to get out of the jungle. We drive on to Congo before the heavy rains start. Dit is de kaart van de Republiek Congo. We hebben een hoofdweg gekozen en we rijden op dit moment rijden we langs deze weg. Wij dachten dat is wel een uh, goed begaanbare weg en dat is het ook wel, maar uh, een hoofdweg is het niet echt. Nou, dit is het dan. De hoofdweg van Gabon naar Congo. At the time we reached the mighty Congo River, our car has turned into a mud monster. We continue our way via the muddy roads of the Democratic Republic of Congo. In these countries where there is no infrastructure for tourism, we mostly camp out at the Catholic missions. Are these children playing at our campsite or are we camping in their schoolyard? We net on the mooie groene chameleon. We gaan hem redden, we zetten hem weer in de bosjes. We zijn al een poosje in Angola en dat is wel een grote verrassing tot nu toe. Uh, zoals je hier ziet, een uh, enorme canyon uh, die hieronder doet voor Bryce Canyon in Amerika. En we hebben voor het eerst sinds een uh, maand of twee weer een uh, vakantiegevoel. In Angola, hundreds of thousands of Chinese have arrived to repair the infrastructure in this country. After 30 years of civil war, there is not much left of their roads. Unfortunately, the Chinese are not ready yet, and because of a very deep ditch in the tarmac, we ended up with a broken spring blade. We are very lucky to find a second-hand blade. At the Catholic mission where we saw many Toyotas, they had an old spring blade in a huge container with spares. In this enormous heath, Noel replaces the broken spring blade. The Chinese need to hurry a little. The roads are getting worse and worse. There are no longer just holes in the tarmac, there are only islands of tarmac left. We average no more than 15 kilometers an hour.
Angola also suffers from the early rains. Entire villages and plantations are underwater. The abandoned old hacendas remind us of the bloody battle that lasted 30 years. Although Angola is a rich country because of their oil and gold, people do not have the money to renovate these homes. Bullet holes are proof of the heavy fighting that has taken place. We cross the border into the civilized and peaceful Namibia. We enjoy the natural beauty and the wildlife the Atosha National Park has to offer. In Namibia, almost at the border with Angola, we find the Himba. Although Namibia has undergone many changes, this tribe has managed to continue to live a traditional lifestyle. And this is baby? Mother is there. It's your baby brother. It's also a brother. Driving through Namibia feels like a holiday. The roads are excellent, there are real supermarkets, nice campgrounds and temperatures are great. Everything is perfect apart from a little rain once in a while. Fortunately, this burning car is not ours. In Namibia, we feel like a real tourist. We visit the organ pipe shaped rocks at 